Hello everybody, I'm Bay Jermine, aka The Terrible Australian, and welcome to the second edition of my November Blogathon video reviews. Now, if you're probably wondering what a Blogathon is, um, I explained this in the last video, but in case you didn't have a chance to see that one, the blog a Blogathon is a challenge set by myself and four other film critic friends of mine, which includes Super Marcy, AJ Hackery, Sam Inglis, and Mike Ewan, and our and the challenge is we recommend a film to each person that they have never seen before and that person has to watch and review the film. And for the criteria for the blogathon is we have to watch fil hidden or forgotten films from the 90s. So that's what we're been, that's what we're all doing together. And for this video review, I'll be reviewing AJ's pick that he sent that he recommended me to check out which is the 1993 Oscar nominated documentary The War Room. So let's get right into it. The War Room is a documentary that gives us a behind the scenes look at former US President Bill Clinton's uh, campaign to becoming the President of the United States during the 1992 presidential election against then President uh, George Bush. And we sort of follow his campaign from the very beginnings as he's out there trying to uh, get the nomination by the Democratic Party right up to the day of the election itself and, and also the subsequent events in between which include the Jennifer Flower scandal, his New Hampshire primary upset and other subsequent events that almost damaged his campaign. And while Bill, President Bill Clinton is the subject of the documentary, but he's not really the main focus. Instead, the, the, the main focus of the documentary are James Carville, who was uh, Clinton's lead strategist on the campaign, and as well as George Stephanopoulos, who was Clinton's communications director. And they're the two main focus of the documentary, and we see uh, how they kept the campaign going right up from the very beginning to the day of the election. And and sort of the highs and lows of what they're trying to do from both the scandals and as well as the tax from the press and uh, the Republican Party. I definitely have to say that this was a pretty solid choice for AJ for me to check out for the blogathon because I actually do have an interest in American politics. I just find that whole kind of landscape just fascinating to me. And the documentary itself is a very insightful and a very interesting behind the scenes look of a campaign. Even though I've seen it a dozen times in like, you know, actual in feature films and all that, but getting to see it in a documentary was even more intriguing to me just to see how it all works. And I just thought it was, it, it did it very well with that, in that regard, because you get to see how it, like how uh, both Carville and Stephanopoulos worked on the campaign and and if you're wondering what the title the war room refers to that is actually the nickname that they gave to their headquarters and uh, and you get to sort of see Carville and Stephanopoulos and as well as all the staff that worked on the campaign you get to see how what they had to do when it came to to the press and as well as the attacks from George Bush uh, the Republican Party and as well as the Jennifer Flower, Flowers scandal which I actually found really interesting and it gave us uh, a really good look on how they handled those situations. I do have to agree with what AJ said in his summary that I can understand people were thinking that the documentary is a little one-sided because it is very pro Bill Clinton and it does make the Republican Party out to be like the bad guys but I think if this film was about George Bush or any other Republican candidate or even another Democratic candidate, I think it would be the exact same thing because you don't really want to put your subject in a bad light and, and it would come off as one-sided anyway. So I can forgive the film for that. And, and while it does paint a positive view of Clinton, but it doesn't totally gloss over the negative aspects of the campaign as well. It sort of gives us a good account of what happened and just how uh, Carville and Stephanopoulos dealt with those things when they happened. 
Plus it also helps that you have two really interesting subjects for the documentary in the form of James Carville and George Stephanopoulos. Particularly James Carville, who I found even very interesting and I and very likable in this documentary. And it's not and it's no wonder that after this documentary came out he became sort of a very famous figure not just in the in the political world but just everywhere like i mean the dude showed up in the in the muppets for crying out loud and he's a very likable guy uh he takes uh, no crap from anybody and he's just out there doing the best that he can and and i especially love the scene this there's a scene where everybody con congratulates carville like they give him a little party just the day before the just before election day and and say how much of an inspiration he was to has been the leader of of the war room and I just found that scene quite moving and he and you can tell that he really appreciates everybody's hard work and you can see that he was very moved by it and and he wasn't afraid to let his emotions show that I found quite touching and also I found the very last 15 minutes when it actually takes place election day and you actually see everyone so sort of at the beginning of the day so anxious and worried about um, that and that fear about that the election isn't going to go to uh, Clinton's way and you can see the how worried they are and they feel as though they're going to fail but during the course of the day as you know spoilers for real life Clinton ends up winning and you can just see that it starts to lift them up and they become just ecstatic by it and I found that that entire section very riveting. In terms of negatives I have to admit though even though I did like the documentary I kind of wish it went a bit further because even though I did find, find the film interesting I kind of wish it was more engaging for the, for the first two halves of it like, like I said before, the last half of the documentary was very engaging, but I kind of feel like the first two halves weren't as engaging as that section, even though there was so much going on, and and I can't really put my finger on why that is, but I kind of wish, and also I kind of wish the film just dug a bit deeper and gave us a bit more depth as well. Like I said, it is a pretty, it is a sort of a very pro- Clinton film, and while that didn't bother me at all, and I kind of wish that it explored more of its of its subject and more of the of the campaign itself, and and there were like even though there and there were a, a very a few times during the film which uh, something would happen which I found which I thought were pretty interesting but the film doesn't really explore that as much and I did and it didn't quite engage me as a viewer so overall despite some of my problems with the war room I still liked it very much and I think it's still a very solid documentary it's not great by any means but it's still a pretty good one nonetheless and I definitely would rec still recommend it for everyone to check out especially if you're into American politics like I am or if you like documentaries on the subject of politics it's definitely worth checking out for sure and if I had to give this film a rating I would give it out of five I would give it a solid three and a half also I want to thank AJ for sending me this film as part of the blogathon it's a really solid choice AJ and I've dug it a lot uh, well that's it for my second edition of my blogathon video reviews keep a look out for my third edition in which I'll be reviewing Sam's Pick, which is the 1993 comedy matinee, which was directed by Joe Dante and starring John Goodman. So keep a look out for that. And I'll also put down all the week two blogathon video reviews on this post. So after when you watch my video review, you can go check out everyone else's week two review as well. All right, everyone. I'll see you all later. Bye.